it's Lou Song here, and today, since cereal soup has actually been getting way more popular, I've decided to make a video on how to get it, download it, and start up the game and all. This is also for one of my friends, so they can know how to do it. The first thing you want to do is go to cerealsoup.com. It autoed. Go to Serial Soup, you'll see the official one right here, and you'll come to this screen. Now it's pretty simple, you can just go to Downloads here, and it will download for you. Now I'm going to pause it and come after it downloads, and I also need to delete my existing one so I can set it up all over again for you guys, so I'll be right back. Alright, I deleted the existing one. I also forgot to tell you, they have different versions of downloads here. Like, most people have the Windows version, and it's also the most complete. But they also have a Mac version. Those are not very good. I wouldn't recommend doing that, playing this on the Mac, because none of the staff actually has Mac, so... All the important stuff is in Windows and stuff. Now there's two versions, and if you don't know what computer your version can handle, you can click on this and it will take you to the form, which is like an online chat board. You can post and talk out of game. You can also ask for help and stuff in here. Now here you'll see it will tell you all the information you want. So if you want to know what your computer has which processor it can handle, you can just click on that and go. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to download this one because that's what my computer can handle. Now while that downloads, I'm going to show you up how to set up your account on the form. You don't have to, this is just if you want to. The, the game account and the form account are completely separate. So I'm going to pause this and get off my account and such and show you the setup for my, the account. Okay, since if you don't have a thing on your on an account on the form, it will show up like this in the default thing. Now you don't have a login so you're gonna register here. And you'll just put down your email and I'll just use an example email. Alright, so I'm gonna just put down the email like I said. And I'm just going to use a backup email I have here for security reasons. So if I don't like trust something, I can just use something like this. But this is 100% trustworthy and stuff. So we're going to register with this. And then we'll have to create a password and then verify the password. They even have a password strength here. Now to play this game, you must be over 13. So. It, it will know if you're lying or not, because it can track um, your birthday from other accounts you used with the email and stuff. So, I'm going to pause it while putting in the passwords and stuff, so you can't see it. This is just an example account. This is not going to be an account I use anyway, but I'm still going to not show the password for security reasons. Alright, so I filled out the information and then you're going to click continue and then you're going to put in your form user here this is the one that will show up on the form and I'm just going to put Phil Mondar then greet the terms of service of course there's the robot security check and then just submit it now you're going to have to go to your email to put in the activation key and we just got one right here. So your activation key is this. So just copy that and paste it. Of course the activation key is different for each account to prevent people just sharing it. And then we will continue on. And now you're logged into the form. Now since our game finished downloading here we're going to go over there into our downloads. 
Now go to your downloads and try to find it. Here it is right here. Now I'm going to go into here and make a cereal soup folder so it's more organized. And then I can move that into there. Now you have to open up this file and extract it into your folder. And then after you extract it into your folder, you'll be able to set it up like your shortcuts and stuff so you can just click on it and open it up. Now, I already have an account on the game, so I'm going to have to log out of that and register with the new account I made with the form. Now, they're two separate accounts, so the form is not necessary. It's just preferred, so you can contact people. And sometimes the game will glitch out and won't send you the activation email thing for when you actually pull up the game. So now that we have this extracted, we'll exit out of that and open it back up in our folder. Now you'll see this one right here. It's hard to see since it has a white logo, but it'll have a logo here. You can create a shortcut so you can access it easily. And just drag that out onto your pin taskbar. You can click it to open it. Now it'll give you this mini screen. You don't have to do anything with that. It's just if you want to help your game run differently, if you have a bad computer, you can set these two different modes. But overall, it works great with just this. The loading screen will be like this. It'll give you the Wild Arts logo, and it'll give you this gray screen while it connects. Now the thing about this game, it's an alpha state, so there's going to be a few glitches here and there. So sometimes it will be hard to log in. They recently did have a, add a server cap to 200 instead of 100, since more people are getting to the game. So while we wait to this, for this to load, um, I'll tell you this. Each time there's a new update, not a hot fix, you'll have to entirely re-download the game and extract the files again like I showed. But the shortcut will work the same. You don't have to delete that. I just deleted it for this for purposes. Now to play you have to click this and enter your username. I'm gonna put Vilmandar because that's mine. Now I'm going to pause it for the password and stuff. The email, put down the same email you use. Or so after you click all that in, over here it won't show you your cursor in there, but it is in there. I'm going to pause it for the password. Oops, I closed it instead of pausing it. Actually, I could just type it in because it does this. Now there's a checkbox down here that you have to check and then press submit. Now I'm going to type in my user. Now I'm going to check if it's sending the act activation thing. And it hasn't yet. It usually takes a while for them to send it. I'll pause it and when I'll be right back. Alright, so our activation email just came. It doesn't come right away. It takes some time. Sorry, I have to click on this link to activate it. 
So I'm gonna go to here. And now it's automatically active. So I can go in and log in. So that is how you get in and create an account. Now you'll have this daily prize that resets every time. And you can get these by going. Those are used for the markings to buy presets and stuff. You've probably seen some of my other videos of presets I made. Now in a separate video, I will tell you how to unlock all the other animals as that you can get here. This one's your default one. This is not quite out yet that will come back out in the 2.0 but these two you can unlock. So in a separate video I'll show you how to do that. Now you just go in here and create your animal to edit however you see fit. Now there is rare traits you can get. I'm just going to randomize it for natural colors. But the chances of getting um, the rare trait are low. 5 out of 100, but it's going to change to 2 out of 100. Now you can enter bios, smells, and stuff, and then go through. Oh, when you first log in, you'll probably get a tutorial that will start with this. And it will take you through the how to control. This does require keyboard to play and arrows to change the the view. So I'm gonna go through this for you so you can know how to do all this. Um, the tutorial doesn't have the sound for it, but if you press, um, oh, where did my mouse go? Oh, well, there's an error. It's not letting me, see, there's no mouse. I think it's doing that because I really went through the tutorial and all. So anyway, that's how you can set up your account for Serial Soup. The form account, the game account are completely separate. I know I mentioned that a lot. I just showed you how to download and and all, and the official site for it. Alright, thank you for watching. Remember, stay golden.